so yeah uh, hello everyone so today we are going to discuss problem b of code forces round 864 of div 2 i hope you have already read the problem statement and we are going we are direct, directly jumping to the solution part i have already written it here so it will make you easier to understand so like i will explain you again so yeah so this is the basically test cases now i will first explain you the problem statement what problem statement says that you have given a matrix of n cross n you have given a matrix of n cross n right and what do you have to do uh, like just take an example this is a matrix of n cross n right what do you have to do you have to uh, rotate this matrix into 180 degree right this is like just a matrix if you will rotate it it will look like something like this right like after rotating it will look like something like this if m b it will be like i hope it is it is clear to you right and what do we want we have to perform k operation in this matrix exactly k operation please uh, just remember this exactly k operation we have to perform this is very important that's why i'm saying we have to perform exactly k operation in this matrix such that this matrix after rotating 180 degree it will look equals to this i hope this makes sense and it's clear to you never mind now what we are going what we will do we will try to uh, do like see how we can do this right just taken a uh, matrix of i will just taking a matrix two of two cross two just for a uh, sake of understanding now if you try to see this matrix what we have to do if we try to like rotate it 180 degree what we will get we will get this matrix right but if we will see these are not equal these are not equal we have to do k operation in this matrix such they are exactly k operation in, a, in this matrix is that this operation this matrix will equal to 180 degree of its uh, transpose right so what we can do if you see after transposing this one this one will become this one this zero will become it come, comes here this one will comes here here and this one will comes goes here i hope this is clear to you so it means that this one and this one are going to be interchanged and this zero and this ones are going to be interchanged we can say that right this will uh, will happen in every n cross n matrix like for every square matrix this condition holds if you will try to observe right and what we will see like if these are same you will find you don't have to change it right after transposing it will be same but if it's if you will see this case if you will see this case what you will find what you will find uh, you are getting that uh, uh, these are not equal so you have to change one of them so you can ch either change this to one or you can either change this to zero if you do like that like if you do something like this so it will become one zero zero one and now when you transpose it or uh, i can say rotate it to 180 degree it will remain same right so what how many operations we have performed you, I have converted this one to zero, so I have performed uh, k operations. Right. So yeah, this was uh, about the understanding of problem, and now we will see the approach. So if you will see, like we have performed uh, first, what we will do, we will count like how many operation we have to perform to change uh, this matrix to a transposable uh, 180 degree matrix, right? So if I will see this, uh, if I will try to compare this to this. And this to this what i will what i have found uh, i have found that uh, i found that i have to convert my count should be my count will uh, my, like my count required is equals to one right my count required equal to one now now what i have to do i have to perform exactly key operations for it right this was this was given in the question this is the very like important part now if uh, like 
if my k is less than count this means that i want these number of operations but i am getting only these number of operations it means that i can't uh, make this as a transposition matrix make sense right now if if my k is uh, greater than equals to count now uh like if my i have a required number of operations now most of the people will uh, say yes yeah it is correct but here is an edge case here so but there is an edge case there are two more cases here there might be a case there might be a case that my count is a bit uh, you can say uh, just take an example uh, i want k operations if my k is equals to equals to count then it's fine then it's fine for me right if my k is greater than count then there can be a trouble then there can be a issue like just take an example if my if i my k is greater than count so what i will do i will k minus uh, if i will to k minus count and i will store into k uh, a into remaining uh, let's say r so what i am getting like uh, this these are my remaining operations let's say i have remaining operations uh, i have one remaining operation let's say let's say i have one remaining operation so what does it mean uh, i have performed a k minus these operations i have performed these count operations now i have only one operation is remaining and question is i have to perform exactly k operations so i have also performed this one operation also but if you see uh, if you will try to see like uh, like in the n cross n matrix like if n is even if n is even if n is even so what does it makes uh like if n is even like this this like this if n is 2 uh and if n is even okay this i will explain you with my earlier example if you see if you see this matrix if you see this matrix uh this one uh, this is like what it i will make again to make you more clear if this is a matrix just take an example this is a matrix so what is the see i have to if my given k is if my given k is 2 let's say 2 now what are how many operations i have to perform to make it a uh, transposable unity degree matrix i have to perform as yeah one operations right that's correct now if you will see i if i perform one operation i have also remaining one operation also uh, now what i can say like i have to perform one of op more operation but i can't perform it here if my matrix is of if my if my matrix is even i can't perform it like if i perform one extra operation it will become one so if it will not remain that transposable matrix so if i have if my n is odd if my n is uh like if my n is even right if my n is even and i have also n my remaining operations k if my n is even and the remaining operation k uh, is odd right then then it will be no reason that uh, like i have a extra operation i have a odd extra one or one extra operation which will which will cause a trouble and if my n is even and as well as a k is even the k not not k i will say it is r remaining operation if my remaining operation is even then it will be yes for n even for r equals to odd it will be no and for r equals to even it will be yes why i will explain you just take an example if my k was 3 here right if i perform one operation do my remaining operation at 2 so which is uh, which is even so what i will do what i will do uh, i have performed one operation here uh, this will become one now what i will do i will just make a take an element uh, any element and i uh, do operation two times Uh, remove this operations uh, make it one and then again make it zero so if it is even operations i can again make it this element so i am just uh, like basically doing uh, this uh, uh, like i can say like for the extra area like for extra uh, like extra operation i just basically doing for extra operation if it is even even number of time i can exactly convert it do what it was earlier if it is a, it is a odd operation i can't convert it right i hope this is clear to you but if my n is odd so there is another case if my n is odd 
this means that if my n is odd and uh, let's say then what we will find what we will find we will find that like every element we are comparing to other element another element for every element we are comparing to another element i am comparing this to this this to this this to this this to this after transposing but this element is compared by itself so it means that this el uh, element is get compared by itself so it means that i can change it either even number of time either odd number of time if my remaining operation is either even either odd either even or either odd it will remains uh, exactly it will not the like, effect okay so if my n is odd and if my n is odd and uh, my either r is even or either r is odd i will always getting yes if my n is odd i will say i is always getting yes if my n is even if my r is odd remaining elements are odd i will get no if my n is even and my remaining elements are even uh, even remaining num number of operations are even i will say yes and uh, yeah this was pretty much i hope this is clear to you and now i will see the coding part this is the this is the code which i have written on the like in the contest i just took a input and uh, this is just a base case i have written uh, you don't have to see that what i have done what i have just run a for loop i have count the like number of i have count the number of operations required i just have divided by 2 because i am counting this two times because i am running a loop for a whole matrix i think it is pretty much clear and if my i have written here is the main logic if my count is greater than 2 like if my count is greater less than equals to k i have to do something something if my count is not greater less than equals to k i will simply put a no uh, is clear makes sense i will this k minus equal to count it means that k is storing now the remaining element if my k is even if my k is even either if i have a n is odd i will print yes otherwise i will print no i think it is clear to you now and if you like my uh, tutorial you can just comment down and i can put more such tutorials okay thank you